Here's Brody Brazil. Let me start off this video by potentially clearing up some chronological confusion. July 4th, 1776, as you know, is when the United States declared its independence. That's what the Philadelphia 76ers are named after. However, this basketball team did not come around to the Philadelphia area until 1963. So a lot of time later, they're not from the 1700s by any means. That's what they're named after. However, it's a long-standing franchise in the NBA, and that's why right now it feels a bit odd for anybody to even be talking about this team relocating to New Jersey, specifically Camden, New Jersey. We'll get into that conversation in just a second. It's important you know that the Sixers have already been trying to build a new arena in downtown Philadelphia. They've got plans for 76th place. It's a $1.5 billion project, and the Sixers are saying they do not need any public money. Now, there are other complications, as you would expect, with this project, the location, the geography of it, the logistics of it, but in terms of the financing, which, come on, that's usually the major sticking point. It's not the one here. There's other things that are kind of stalling it and delaying it, but the private financing is a good thing. The Sixers are saying, we'll pay $1.5 billion. It would be located downtown, as I said, but specifically in the Chinatown neighborhood. It has yet to be approved by Philadelphia. And there are some issues with research and what consultants have said. In fact, as recent as August 26th, a report came back about the location of this plan. And they said, the consultant said, it should be considered a significant potential risk to Chinatown's core identity. So obviously, there's a lot of concern about altering the neighborhood as it is right now to put in a project like this, which would take up several square blocks and would dramatically change how things are over there. The Sixers have a lease that ends at Wells Fargo Arena in the year 2031. And to be perfectly honest, by the year 2031, if they were still playing there, it would be one of the older arenas in basketball. And obviously the Flyers play there too. So in hockey as well, uh, it served them for a very long time. It's in that core complex of football, baseball, and basketball and hockey stadiums all in one block. And so the Sixers want to move. They want to come downtown. They want to change things. And so they're already kind of ahead of the curve here for 2031. I'll quickly show you the renderings. Of course, they're exactly what you would expect. They're fancy. They're fantastic. I love all that, that LED screen on the front facade. I think it's very cool. Also take note, it's a square building. But in the back there, you see it's called 76 Tower. So that's the residential aspect of it. Um, I'll talk about that part of it in just a second. So it's not just a building. It's not just an arena because nobody can do that anymore. They can't just build the venue they want. They have to attach something else to it. So here's the details on that. Not just the downtown arena, but 395 units of residential. 20% of that 395 are supposed to be slotted out as affordable housing. They want to start construction by 2028. They say, the Sixers do, and again, Take all of this with a grain of salt. This is what somebody who wants the project is saying. They say it'll generate $1 billion in new taxes. And the Sixers also say they will not displace a single residence or business as part of construction of 76th place. That is what the Sixers are saying. That's not me promising you that. That's not anybody promising you that. That's what the Sixers are saying about their plans. Obviously, it's not just the building, it's the neighborhood around it and what they're trying to do. Some people want this change. You can find on the internet, there's plenty of opposition to this change. That's not for me what this video is all about. It's only important you know there are some sticking points in terms of Philadelphians. Oh, am I saying that right? Philadelphians who don't necessarily want this project to be here. Maybe they're okay with it somewhere else, but not specifically here. But again, the renderings on the inside, that uh, LED screen, that ribbon around the top, that's what all the new sports venues are doing. It's not just a hanging scoreboard anymore. It's a big halo around the inside. That's pretty fantastic. So enter New Jersey. We haven't even talked about New Jersey yet. That's the whole point of this video. Because of the sticking points in Philadelphia, New Jersey's over there saying, hey, you guys having some problems? According to the Associated Press, the state of New Jersey has offered $400 million in tax credits for a mixed-use development in Camden, New Jersey, a waterfront property there. 
when we say mixed use development, we're not just talking about the sports venue. We're talking about residential and commercial and retail and a hotel and probably something else. You know, you typically know how these projects go in 2024 and beyond. Molly Mita McKendy, I hope I'm pronouncing Molly's name properly here. Molly is a 76ers spokesperson. Molly said to the Associated Press via email, quote, the reality is we're running out of time to reach an agreement that will allow the 76ers to open our new home in time for the 2031-32 NBA season. As a result, we must take all potential options seriously, including this one, end quote. So I just want to point something out while it's on your screen here, 2031-32. And they said construction even for 76 place was like 2028. Now, all of that seems reasonable, 28, 29, 30, 31. Like that's a long time for a basketball arena of that size, three, four years. That's that's plenty of time. And even that is still, let's call it three plus years away from when you'd need to start construction. So to say that we're running out of time to allow the 76ers to open our new home, I don't know that running out of time is it, but I think understanding the timeline, not getting any longer in the process is what they're trying to avoid. The 76ers want to move forward. They're creating a sense of urgency. Of course, everything's going to happen in due time, but there's a lot of time left to figure this out. This is not like a today, tomorrow, next week, next month type thing. There's a lot of years left for the Sixers to work something out. I get it. Wells Fargo Arena is not getting any younger and their lease does end in 2031. And that's why they want to move out. They want to honor the lease and then move right out. But the point is, I don't know that the rush is as urgent as the basketball team might lead you to believe. So do I think this is serious? Uh, no. But when somebody throws out $400 million in tax credits, now, again, the Sixers were doing the right thing in Philadelphia by saying, hey, this is privately funded. We'll take care of it. We don't want public money. Now you're going to have the issue of going to New Jersey and taking $400 million. And I would also say the longer you stall on this project, the more it's simply going to cost. If you commit to it now, in fact, heck, if you start building it sooner than later, the cost Due to inflation and probably interest rates and all that, the cost now is probably the cheapest they'll get it for a while. It's probably only going to go up, as things always do over here. So should they start building it sooner than later in the Sixers' eyes? Yes. Is that why they're trying to consider what New Jersey has to offer? Maybe. But maybe it's also just for leverage, too, right? Maybe all of this is just a political play. Maybe Camden, New Jersey has no chance for the Sixers, kind of like Joel Embiid maybe doesn't have a chance of being on the Sixers (laughs) for many more years to come. But that is the point, right? Who knows what exactly this is? I don't think the Sixers are moving anytime soon, but we're in the early stages of something getting potentially interesting, potentially messy. I'd focus more on the Philadelphia versus 76ers part of it. Can they find a different neighborhood? Is this the right spot? If it's not the right spot, what other options are there for the Sixers? If they want to move forward and Philadelphia can find them the right spot, certainly you hope for that to take place. You've made it here to the end of the video. You know, I really appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. That greatly helps me in this video and this channel. I would like that, but I would also love it even more if you just take one quick second to go down there. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button. That way I definitely get to see you back here next time.